The president's visit this afternoon met with demonstrations both for and against his decision to come to Kenosha. Madeline Anderson joining us live at Civic Center Park. This is the epicenter of protest since the shooting of Jacob Blake. Madeline, what is the situation like there right now? <laughs> Well, Ted, the group that had been out here just about an hour ago has since dispersed peacefully. You can see that aside from some music that had been playing in the background, Civic Center Park is once again pretty quiet. Those who had been out here say if the president is not going to condemn police brutality against the black community, he's not welcome in Kenosha. Black Lives Matter supporters protesting the president's visit to Kenosha Tuesday, fearing his presence could once again inflame racial tensions. It's just going to create agitation and it's inciting violence, if you ask me, and uh, I don't appreciate it. The group momentarily clashing with Trump supporters standing on the other side of the street, praising the president's decision to come to Wisconsin. The places got destroyed, people got attacked. You know, you had a couple of shootings. I mean, this is a place he needs to be. Whether you like his message or not, he needs to be here to understand what the people are doing so he can have policy changes and everything else. The peaceful demonstrations today follow last week's violent unrest in the wake of the shooting of Jacob Blake. And it's not being condemned. Justice for Jacob Blake. Justice for Jacob Blake. After dispersing for a few hours, Black Lives Matter activists marched down Sheridan again late this afternoon, demanding that the Kenosha police officer who shot Blake in the back seven times be fired and arrested. It's been, what, a, a couple months since George Floyd, and what has changed? Black people are still being murdered in the streets. We aren't talking about just black lives. We're talking about all lives. And it, black ones are under attack right now. We're trying to get them to see their life matters too. And if we came together, how beautiful this could be. Now, just to give you guys an update about what I had mentioned during uh, my four o'clock live shot, I told you that a few uh, police cars had been speeding down Sheridan towards 60th Street. Well, we learned that police were hoping to just make sure that things didn't escalate between two Trump supporters and a group of Black Lives Matter supporters. Uh, so police, again, just were speeding down Sheridan here to 60th Street to make sure nothing escalated. And it turns out nothing did. Those Trump supporters were able to leave the area. And then following that, the Black Lives Matter supporters, as I showed you at 4 o'clock, then marched down here to Civic Center Park demonstrated once again now they have left and Civic Center Park is quiet. Reporting live in Kenosha, Madeline Anderson, Fox 6 News. Good report and good follow-up on that. Madeline, thank you.